Hello everyone and welcome to another solo video. Today we are taking a look at the Esselus in hard mode. We're not going to do it in story mode, it's only a level 11 instance. Uh, so to find the Esselus, all you do is head to the Coruscant departure area. Esselus is of course a Republic only flashpoint. Uh, you speak to the uh, priority transport officer right here. You set it to hard mode. Make sure it is set to hard mode. So uh, you know where the Coruscant Departures is on the fleet. It says Coruscant Departure. So we won't bore you by telling you where it is. So let's head on in to the SLS. Now I should point out that we're not going to do the uh, story run. We're just going to space bar our way through all the cutscenes. Uh, because this is hard mode and we're just soloing it for the fun I guess. Yeah, finally it loaded. Ugh, so we're gonna have to cut that out of the video. Jeez, it took about a year or two to load. Surprised the next expansion isn't out. Oh no, still no content being released if this took a year. So we're gonna go and uh, talk to Asara. It's just SLS passenger. Come on. What are you waiting for? We better not have crashed. Cutscene, hello, cutscene. Cutscene won't trigger. That's a useful one. I'm gonna go. Ah, come on, I wanna play, I wanna play Sabak. God oh, damn it. Why is that clickable? The things. So, right, we'll see if it works this time. Come on. I don't like you, Asara, but I do wanna talk to you. You need to talk to you to start this flashpoint. Well, this is a tough flashpoint, yes, this one. The there we go, on. we did it! I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi. But I'm curious trouble me. if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. Yeah, go away. If you're so curious about the crew, I suggest you find one of them to bother. Yeah. Bother you. Go away, Ashara. Asara, should we say. Ashara's the other, um, Inquisitor companion. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we're gonna use our mount for this one. If... Well, this game's running well today. And we got an invisible mount. Good God, I haven't played this game for a while, and uh, that thing hasn't even loaded. Jesus, what is wrong with this game? Oh, there it is. There's my starfighter mount. Thought I was flying an invisible starship there. So it's just a bunch of conversations which you're not really interested in in hard mode. Let's see this guy. Oh, Captain, Captain Tyrus, too fat to dodge an Imperial turbo laser. See, if he was just thinner, if he just worked out, maybe he would have avoided it. And there's his little fat friend, Plex. Let's go and see Hawken, who's the only thin guy on this ship. Two fat guys and a thin guy, that's Republic policy. Oh, come on. Game is broken. This game gets more broken every day. I haven't, I haven't Tyrus, honestly played this game it, in like sir. two weeks. You can make it. He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders. Yeah. Weapons are out. Shields are out. Comms are out. There's nothing we can do. Quit panicking. This will be easier if you control your emotions. Who asked you? We're in the middle of a situation. Hey, 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 hey. You want to get a lightsaber? What's wrong with you? Space bar, space bar. It's the favorite key. It's the only key you need in this game. So if you really want to do the story for SLS, you can solo it at level 16, the story mode version, or you can wait to 60 and solo the HM version. It really don't make any difference. About level 15, 16 uh, is what you can solo at. So we're gonna go to the right here. And um, we're gonna go head down to see the it's a trap guy. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna skip these dudes. Uh, I think we're gonna. In fact, we have to kill these guys. Too close. Skip over them then. Over there and get him, Kira. Ah, those guys put up a fight. This is probably the easiest of all the uh, HM flashpoints to solo. Quite easy to solo at 50 actually. Right now, a uh, little tip for you. For the first boss, very important tip. It's a trap. Right. 
The first boss, face him away from the group or these guys will die. Because they're only level 8. So if you face him away from the group, then... Face him away, because he does a little... Uh, conal thing that he does. Let's try and keep all these guys alive. AoE the adds down, it really is nothing. We'll just use them off the brock. We don't care about rotation or brocks or... Oh, there we go. Yeah, they all survived because the first time I recorded this, I lost all of those guys. Jesus, we are not getting any graphics today, are we? Yeah, because I did this before and I got a bunch of black hole gear and I'm using DX Tory. I don't know if it's DX Tory that's causing these issues, but we're trying it out. Did buy it. So yeah, there you go. We got all three of these guys survived. No achievement for doing it. It's just don't be a douchebag and get your level 8 SLS security guards killed. So if you face the boss towards them, they die. And, you know, it's just a bunch of corpses and then you have to explain it. And you're pretty poor if you're a Jedi. That's pretty poor as a Jedi. There she is, Ambassador Asara. So don't face the boss away. Don't be a douche. There you go. Now they're all celebrating... See, look, the it's a trap dude doesn't die, but you know, because the first time I did this uh, and the audio went out of sync uh, when I did this the first time, uh, the, the little guy died. Shut up, Asara. Gonna leave her behind, because he does a little uh, uh, AoE cleave attack, uh, so if you're tanky, if you were tanky, you had to face him away, but don't be a douche and save these guys' lives. Okay, because they're only level, that one's level, that one's level 8. Uh, this is level 9. Oh, the commander's level 9. See, that's why he's the commander. Because he's level 9. They're only level 8. 225 HP. Jeez, get some gear. Come on, sunshine, you're letting the Republic down. Still level 8, despite this being level 50 flashpoint. Ah, oh, I'm stuck. Right, these parts you can just ignore. Uh, we generally just ignored it, unless you really want to fight those guys. Um, you can just skip past them all. And we're going... yeah, we are going this way. Head on in there. Bit of... Bit cruel murdering those guys. They don't even drop anything. What did we get from the, uh, the first boss? We got a, uh... 116, uh, tanking piece. Awesome. We can skip this lot. If we want. I'm using a sentinel for this because why not? Need to use a sentinel for something. Get him, Kira. Come on, Kira. Left you something to kill there. Right, let's go and I think if we ever get if it ever loads. There it goes. Whoa. You're a Jedi. Yeah. Hey, Chief. Look, there's a Jedi. There's a there. Jedi. Imagine that. A Jedi. Must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. The Imperials have the bridge locked let's, down. Let's let's be They're a douchebag. So he hates Jedi. The imps pulled the lock down. You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into nah, a we, single Imperial on my way down here. Nah, we skipped a Listen, bunch of guys. So I, are you going to be kidding? Right. So you got a choice what here. Um. I'm not uh, so you can kill the engineers if you're a douchebag and want to be quick. We can't send these people to their deaths. Not but when an seeing as we hate Asara, then. Fine. But you're dooming everyone on this ship. I make the decisions, Ambassador, not you. Fine. Yeah. Who am I to argue? I'm the level 60 here. You're only level level nine. Don't boss me around. So if you pick the dark side option, you can just go straight to the boss. So if you're a dude, so you see the dark side is tempting, tempting, or you have to shut down the conduits, which is pretty easy. Ah, one of them. Push a sentinel around like that. Get him, Kira. I didn't kill him with one hit there. God, the sentinel's damage kind of sucks. Even with all our alacrity, it still kind of sucks. 
Uh, there is a lore object here on the console if you don't have it. Well, let's see if we can avoid pulling everything. At least of a master strike there. So we just got to shut down these three consoles. Click the console if you haven't already done this and you get a nice lore object. Uh, I think it works in HM as well if you haven't done so. Let's see if we can leap over these guys and yeah we can. Bit pointless to use the proc there. Come on. 5.5 seconds. Turn to Ambassador Asara. I always get her mixed up with Ashara. Ashara is the Inquisitor's uh, Inquisitor's um, companion. There you go. We didn't have to kill nobody. What you did. I know what I'm doing, Ambassador. Yeah, don't question me. I'll go to still. You're just wasting my time here. You need to I'll just kill you. All right. I'll make this scum pay for attacking us. So we're now going to fight. What's his face again? I can't remember his name. Ooh, we got pretty close. What is his name again? The Bounty Hunter, I can't even remember his name. He's so unremarkable, <laughs> he just can't be bothered remembering his name. Uh, we can skip this lot, skip that guy. I think we have to fight these guys. The auto aggro. And he is a Mandalorian, but I don't remember his name. Iron Fist or something? I think it's Iron Fist. He's got a fist of iron. But it's not going to affect us. Yeah. How did she get there? Oh, using a dispatch. On oh, the <laughs> weak enemy is just cruel. Hey, Mando, Mando, Mandos! Just three of them. Ah, ship it all target. God, it does no damage or <laughs> four sweep. Can't even kill a regular enemy. That's ten levels beneath us with it. Um, I, no, I think we got to leap at them. I'm trying to hide there, but can't hide from our twin saber throw. There we go. Is it Iron Fist? I'm pretty sure his name's Iron Fist. There's no point in doing the bonus quest because you don't even get any credits for doing it. Where well, is well. it? This is it. Yeah, he is called Iron Fist. Go ahead then. Show me what you've got. That's yeah, show us what you got. Now, beforehand, when we used to do this uh, current content, we would pull him up here uh, so we could avoid his ads. Uh, he did do a kind of missile barrage type thing. We're gonna keep our uh, stacks of centering up just so we can pop our cooldown, but we don't have to bother uh, with anything for that because we're gonna jump in, we're gonna pop that off, we're gonna nuke him as fast as we can. Push it, yeah, the missile salvo, that was it. So here comes his ads. We shouldn't even aggro his ads, so we're just gonna use Master Strike without our uh, precision. But we don't care. He's gonna die anyway. We didn't even aggro the ads. And we get ourselves a black hole four stopper. Um Hawken, get away from those ads, please. So yeah, to avoid the ads, uh, we'd pull him up there on the bridge. And you just fight him up there. You just had to uh, watch out for missile salvo. It didn't do any damage. Took less than ten percent damage. Uh, level sixty. Yeah. There we go. We'll just deal with his ads. Uh, we didn't even aggro them. <laughs> Came down and he didn't even aggro us. Uh, that was the reason you would always pull him up there. Because if you aggroed the ads, it was a pain at level fifty. Anyway, we got ourselves a two basic comms and a black hole four stoppers package. Let's see what Hawken wants. 
Oh, there's that. Hawking. It's a trap, dude. Do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Then that's our own. If this is what look, been... Yeah, we're gonna go attack that oh, Imperial oh, uh, battleship. That always reminds me of episode 4, this one. Especially when you go to the battleship, because you have to go and disable the tractor beam and then escape. So it's pretty much like the Death Star on episode 4. Uh, we can even sacrifice Asara. If we want, she can be the Obi Wan of this. Hey, hold up a minute. Although it is a dark side choice because it's us choosing to sacrifice her. So that's what he says here. Uh, you can leave her behind if you want. So you can leave Ambassador Asara all for the imps, and she can presumably get interrogated, maybe get killed. Who knows? But yeah, we can do that. Where is she? Also, a little repair droid. There she is. Get to the hangar. Hurry. Now, should we leave her behind? Now, if you're having trouble clicking that door, you need to click the upper part of the door. Because uh, some people do have trouble clicking the door to get to the Imperial shuttle. Just make sure you. Because if you click the lower. The whole door is blue. Uh, if you click the uh, lower part of the door, it's not clickable. You have to click the sort of upper part of the door. So, just a little bit. So that, if you're having trouble with that, because that's the only real thing people have trouble with in this one, is clicking the door. Because you're never going to have any trouble, we're just going to stealth past these guys. Watch out for the probe droids, because they have stealth detection. Just run away past these guys. And we can, I think we skip everything, we can mount in this one. It's not really an issue. Uh, there's no real point. There is a bonus quest which you cannot do if you're soloing. Uh, the reason you can't do it is because uh, you need two players to press the two buttons. Because the buttons have to be pressed simultaneously or within a few seconds of each other, I think. Pretty much. So uh, you cannot do it solo uh, because you'll never make it to the next button in time. Um, I don't know if you, uh, some people say you can do it, but, just gonna get out of here, we'll, uh, we'll leave at the probe droid, because we have to, everything gets aggro, that button, we have a waste of a prop there, <laughs> and we're gonna stealth past this lot, as a marauder, that's a good thing about being a well a sentinel or a marauder. Same thing, really. Oh, you can't do this as a marauder, obviously, because you do black talent. So this is a republic only. Ooh, we got a bit close there. Uh, we'll see if we can skip past these two elites. Nah, we didn't get them. Burn this thing down. Here at the kill him. Yeah, we got one and a half K credits out of that. So we can just skip the, the rest of the trash. You can just go over here behind the console and get past all of this trash. You just avoid that probe drawing. We can avoid this trash. Uh, so the uh, you can see the uh, Desperate Assault bonus quest. It's these two power conduits here. So there's one right there and there's one over there. So they have to be pressed. I think it's within uh, five seconds of each other. Uh, so it is very difficult even with the mount and the rocket boost to get from that point all the way over there to that point all the way over there. That's stage two after you defeat the uh, after you defeat the, what is it, 30 enemies, defeat 30 Imperials. I think there's another stage in between that, where it's like defeat another 30, because we skipped quite a lot. Uh, but you can't do that on the Republic, you need two people in order to do that. You can't do it solo, regardless of your level. Right, we're looking at the Guardian Droid, an interesting boss uh, back in the day. Uh, doing this as a Sentinel was a bit of a pain because of a bug that we had. It Basically, if we used Force Leap while we were on this platform, we would end up down there. Back in the good old days, we would end up down there. We'd fall through the platform. Hopefully it's been fixed. Let's find out if it's been fixed. 
So yeah, you couldn't use Force Leap uh, on this boss and the subsequent trash. What you would find is if you had two Sentinels, uh, you'd get your tank would pull him back down here for you. So you could use Force Leap. So if you were Watchman spec and you wanted to use your Force Leap to regenerate uh, your focus, because you could use it at any range in Watchman spec, then, you know, um, you would just fall through it. So let's see if it works. No, we didn't fall through it. Oh, missed it. Missed our proppy thing. Just gonna pop that off and... We don't need any of our procs or anything to kill that thing. What did we get? We got a... Black Hole Four Stoppers Mark II vest. Let's take a look at it. Ah, oh, she looks. Oh, I remember wearing that for the longest time. I had that on. She looks homeless. I think she just looks like a, like a poor homeless Jedi. The pants don't look so bad, but the uh, the rest of it is. Let's go disable the tractor beam, and we'll be on our way. So yeah, even if you leaped at these ads, these ads ran up. You would end up through the. Uh, you could fall through. And you got stuck down there, and you basically had to hope you had a sage in the group to try and pull you back up. Although it is a long way down, I don't think sages could pull you back up, so you had to reset the whole instance sometimes. Skip that trash there, and we'll head to the detention level. So yeah, it is very much like the Death Star run in Episode 4. You can just skip this trash if we're quick enough. And we are, because they don't aggro until they stop. Right, we're going into the trash. We're going down the trash compactor. We can stay mounted for this. They never did the walls closing in thing on you. They never did that, which I thought was a shame. You know, it would have been nice uh, if you went in here and you had to do a boss where you had to kill it uh, before the uh, trash compactor killed you because, you know, just for nostalgic reasons to be like uh, a new hope, to be like episode 4. So it does always, it does always remind you of that. Disable the tractor beam, we then have to confront a Sith to get out. Uh, we're gonna stealth past these guys. Oh, that was delayed. Bit of lag there, we have to deal with this lot, because we're heading back to where we first entered. And we'll get the ambassador. Imperial Trooper, he's brave, but not brave enough, so we are going to face off against the Sith. And those guys we saved, yeah, this is what happens to them. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether we save them or not, whoever decides to load. I don't know why they just don't go and reactivate the tractor beam after we leave. I mean, what's to stop them? Surely they have a sensor for that. So there you go, these guys that were level 8 are uh, getting bullied by this level uh, 50 Sith. Look at the difference in armor between the Republic and Empire. I mean, look at their skimpy little armor and look at... I suppose they are a transport right enough and this is a military vessel you could argue, but still. Oh, that poor guy. Oh, he got impaled as well. Oh, run away Ashara, run away. Run away. I like his outfit. It's basically uh, Thana's outfit with the hood up, essentially. That's what it is. Uh, if you want that guy's outfit. Greetings. Surprised they never had a cartel market one. At last. You'll fall like something. Yeah, ready to die. The words are yeah, shut up. Right, we're gonna back away from him. Right, couple of things you need to know. Uh, are gonna be purple circles on the ground. Uh, we do not want to be in them. So we're going to have to kite him around because our companion is a melee companion. So we are just going to kite the... We're going to kite him around the area and kite the purple circles away from our companion and away from ourselves because they will do damage. I'm just going to pull him right now. Ah, there it is. Purple circle. Come on. Kill him. Uh -huh. Targeting Kira. We don't have a ton. 
You get aggro back off of Kira. Still targeting Kira. We can't kite him around. There you go. Um, you can just ignore the rest of his ability, so we're just gonna move him away. Hopefully Kira will move with him. There you go, she didn't move with him. Taking a lot of damage, Kira. <laughs> it's not really an issue though for us. There you go, she took what? 20%, just under 20% damage by standing in the circle. Uh, we've got ourselves a biometric crystal ally and the really ugly helmet. Really, it's a really ugly helmet. The black hole helmet. Ugly chest piece as well, it looks terrible. Right, now, uh, do you want to leave her behind is the question. So, uh, you will get a title. Uh, I think there's two titles available here. Um, you get... I can't remember what the first title is. You get Backstabber if you uh, leave her behind. And I think you get the... I think it's the Uncompromising or something like that. Can't seem to find it. Um... The Intrepid, The Furious, The Risen. Got a lot of titles here. Um, I can't seem to find it. I think it's Uncompromising, I'm pretty sure. Or Hero of Typhon. Or the, uh, there it is, The Uncompromising. I think you get that title from that. We'll have a look at the achievements for the SLS. Uh, our, where's our achievements? There we are. Um, where's the SLS? Help if I could read or sit closer to the screen. Um, I cannot see it. Athos, Blood Hunt, Academy Moo, Corp. <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> Scroll down uh, a little bit. So, um, yeah, you get the backstabber if you leave a shower behind, and you get the uncompromising. If you don't leave her behind, so you can have two titles that you can get here. Uh, you can get them from normal, I think. I think the achievement still applies uh, for hard. Yeah, we still haven't done um, the advanced ones yet for this. No, no one ever wipes here, to be honest. Come on, get on it. If we launch fast. Oh, where's she going? Where are you going? Oh, oh. Uh. No. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right behind you, ambassador. Let's yeah, just let's, let's, let's get out of here. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, if you space bar that cutscene, she falls over. I don't like her, but we are light sided. So there you go. If you want that title, I think you have to do it in normal. Pretty sure you have to do it in normal uh, to get that. But normal mode is pretty easy. Um, you'll fly. You'll fly through normal mode at level. You can do normal mode from. Level 16, 15, 16, you should be fine to do normal uh, solo because it is a level 11 flashpoint in normal. Level 50, of course, in HM, so we just have to go to First Officer Hawken. And this is pretty much the easiest flashpoint. People were soloing this at level 50, and it was pretty easy to solo. You can solo this with most classes at level 50. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here now. Come on, Plex. Oh, he's just muscly. He's not fat. Why don't they just shoot us with their cannons? I mean, they have cannons. They have turbo lasers, should we say? I don't know why they just don't shoot us. You did it. You did what no one else. Only doing what was right. You have my thing. Ah, we'll take the reward. The Jedi will then punch. Sounds good. Nah, we didn't. Uh. We didn't drop uh, Hawken in it with a shower. Now you get your choice here. Uh, a lot of people, I don't know why they do this in hard mode, but uh, go to Coruscant or return to the space station. I would pick return to the space station unless you really want to go to Coruscant. But you would always get some people who would pick that in hard mode. I guess they were trolling or just clicked the wrong thing uh, because it was part of the story uh, that you could go to Coruscant. 
uh, when it was level 11, because this was before you went to Coruscant. So uh, make sure you pick the fleet, unless you really want to end up on Coruscant. Uh, just save you a bit of loading screen there. Anyway, that is all for this video, so thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.